Jeff Hale, founder of J. Hale Music. I've been providing archtop guitars and other quality accessories to jazz guitarists around the world since the year 2000. Today I'd like to talk to you about a uh, great uh, Eastman El Rey guitar that I have here. This is uh, Eastman's model uh, El Rey ER2 with uh, two built-in pickups. We buy a lot of these guitars from Eastman uh, without any parts on them and some of them without any finish, although this one has the Eastman Golden Age finish. And then we configure them with a variety of, uh, of uh, parts that uh, give them a little bit different sound, a little bit different characteristics than you might get, so you get a real special guitar that way. The uh, El Rey is uh, solid wood, hand-carved, construction and uh, <clears throat> it has a carved spruce top it has uh, maple rims flame very flamey maple rims and a two-piece flamey maple back I hope you can see the beautiful flame in in here sometimes the uh, the lights in the studio drown out these lighter color guitars uh, it's one of these detailed pictures you can look on our website and if you're on our website right now you can just click on the uh, thumbnails on the right hand side of your screen and you can get the detailed pictures while the video is playing or anytime. The uh, body also has a uh, nice mahogany inlay uh, or inset in the cutaway that really sets off the guitar nicely. We've configured this instrument with uh, the standard Eastman ebony tailpiece that uh, sits over a metal frame. It has a uh, tunematic style bridge with an ebony base, twin built-in Seth Lover pickups, from Duncan, each with their own tone controls and volume controls, plus a standard three-way uh, switch to select the pickups. The uh, fingerboard is ebony, and the scale length is 25 inches. The width of the neck at the nut measures one and three-quarter inches. You can see they have nice uh, inlays mounted here on the edge of the fingerboard, and this is kind of neat because you can you can see them from the front, and you can also use them as side dot markers from the uh, from the uh, top. The uh, neck is three-piece maple, nicely flamed maple, and it's configured here with tuners from Spurzel, and these are uh, locking tuners from Spurzel. And finally, we have a nice overlay over the uh, top of the headstock, that nice flame maple that matches the, uh, the, the maple flame on the back. So, acoustically, it's got a pretty decent sound acoustically, especially for a small body 14 inch guitar. Now, amplified, we'll, we'll, we'll try it here. I'm going to play through a uh, Acoustic Image Claris 2R amplifier that's connected to a Razor's Edge 28 cabinet. So we get a sound what it uh, sounds like here on the neck pickup. down on the on the bridge pickup add a little volume and then if you play it uh, with both of them switch in the middle position, you can get the sound of both pickups going here. Very nice, very rich, big jazz tone. This is one of my favorite guitars, the uh, El Rey, and it just has that nice fat jazz tone. It, uh, it weighs only uh, about five and a half pounds, small body arch top, really easy to play, and it sounds great. So let's go over the, uh, the features of this instrument again. We have Eastman's El Rey ER2 that's been customized by J. Hale Music. We bought this particular guitar without any parts on it. It has the nitrocellulose finish from Eastman and it's their color Golden Age. Just a beautiful finished guitar. Uh, it has a, uh, a solid spruce carved spruce top with nice grain. It has flame maple rims with a rim depth of two inches. We have a uh, rosewood inset here that uh, excuse me, mahogany inset that uh, uh, shows off the guitar very nicely. It's a real nice little detail. 
We have a two-piece maple back, nicely flamed. We have a three-piece uh, flame maple neck. We have ebony fingerboard with 25-inch scale. And uh, the uh, inlays here are mounted uh, on, the, on, the, on the edge of the fingerboard, so you can use them as side dot markers as well. And then we finished it off with uh, Spurzel locking tuners, all gold hardware. So, really great guitar. This is one of the reasons that I say you can never have too many guitars. If you had one of these around, I bet you'd be playing it all the time, just like I do mine. Thanks a lot.